this view. It's incredible. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh, and I know exactly what I want to do with the living room. I'm thinking like antique blue walls, maybe a sleek white sofa and some brown accents. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. <laughs> I love it. Marianne, this is so exciting. We can stop looking because this is the perfect place. I, I, maybe we should make an offer before someone else snatches it up. And how long do you think it'd be before we can move in? Wait, wait a minute. Don't you want to see the rest of the house? I don't even care. It wouldn't even change my mind. The moment that we drove onto these grounds, I knew. Oh, that's this <laughs> is my dream home. Dream on. I don't believe it. Throw yourself away from the blackjack table just to say hi to little old me. Now wipe that smirk off your face. Just because my posse won a few hands of 21, you can't go Cagney on me. Mm, a few hands. Thanks to your old carny tricks, your posse can't lose. Who said talent was a crime? I'll deal with the card sharks later. Right now I need your help with Kendall. Picture it, babe. Tons of family photos all over the study walls. Mm -hmm. I'm already there. Little Adam looks adorable. Oh, not little Adam. Little Spike. Mm. And me. And Zach. Our house. Our name on the mailbox. Our initials branded on the wrought iron gates outside. Casa de Slater. It's a done deal. You already bought this place? Yep. Live with it. Liar. I love it. Every room, and I already have the paint color selected in my head. <laughs> the whole concept of you living here is in your head, babe. So say bye-bye to Fantasyland and say hello to Hotel Me. But I haven't heard of any offers being made on this house. Good. I want it. Can't have it. Done deal. Mine. So please vacate the premises. Ignore her. Ignore her. Do whatever you have to do, just get me this house. And I won't take no for an answer. You know, you are an excellent realtor, Marion. And I'm sure over the years you've become extremely resourceful. However, my husband has very colorful associates who are much more connected with their resources than you could possibly imagine. They always get what they want. Or in this case, what I want. Whatever Kendall wants, Kendall gets. Mm. You can always tell what Kendall wants because it's written all over her face. She gets that look, that fire in her eyes. If I could bottle that, sexiest thing I've ever seen. She's, uh, what's the word? She's spunky. Don't tell her I said that either, because she'd kill me, but it's true. She's, uh, she's intense and she's focused and she has this spark. Or she used to have this spark. Now I, I look at her and, and all I see is doubt and caution. She doesn't believe in her husband anymore. How'd I get around that? Well, use your ace in the hole. Kendall loves you, but she's in love with you, badly. Yeah, she was. I think she was. But she saw me, Myrtle. She looked into my soul and she saw what I was capable of. Tore her heart to shreds. How did I put it back together? Bye, Marion. Thank you so much for coming. Have a wonderful, Marian, wonderful please. day. Oh, uh, listen, I just remembered I have some urgent uh, calls to return, but I'll keep in touch, okay? Okay, okay. Bye-bye. All right. Uh... You can go, too. You so don't love this place. You're wrong. I adore this place. It has Kendall written all over it. I can't wait to spend the next 80 years of my life with Zach raising a family here. You know, the only way I might have cut you an inch of slack is if my brother stole you away from JR. Kendall. <laughs> Look, JR and I haven't exactly been Mr. and Mrs. Bliss since I do the sequel. We really need this place, please. We are desperate for a fresh start. And you know exactly why. Look, it's not like you and Zach, you guys What? Are, what? We don't need a fresh start? We're just the epitome of a happy couple? But you guys are still in a bad place? I didn't say that. Don't put words in my mouth. This wise old bird once told a handsome young cavalier, you must give a girl time to breathe. 
I mean, how long has it been? Two weeks since you and Kendall became official again. Now she's got to have time. I'm, I'm very good, but even I can't make magic overnight. Hmm. You thought you had all kinds of tricks up your sleeve, but that's it. Tell me to sit back and wait. Look, the preacher didn't put the words for better or worse into the vows for nothing. You've got to have patience. I mean, that, that is the best I can do. And now my cohorts, my friends, are waiting for me. Well, do me a favor. Tell your cohorts, your friends, to take it easy at my tables. I'm going to stop sending casino transportation to pick you guys up. Oh, you wouldn't do that. I wouldn't? How about you take that tape measure and see how many feet it is back to your car? Isn't there a pink and turquoise double wide calling your name somewhere on the outskirts of town? Who let him in? What's she doing here? You and your wife are trespassing on my property. Your property? Shall I hold up flashcards, genius? My house, as in mine, and Zach's, not yours. Oh, no, don't look so sad. I'm sure you'll find something trashy enough to excite your wife here. Or maybe you can build your own monstrosity. You definitely know your way around construction materials, JR. You know, you'd be unbelievably stupid to go up against me on this one. Do you think you scare me? We'll see who ends up in this house. Oh, yes. Yes, we will. And weren't you just leaving? Yeah, actually, I was. Well, don't stay too long. We don't want to have to fumigate before we move in. <laughs> okay, how much are we worth? Cash, investments, don't leave anything out. And everywhere you look, there is the, the, these beautiful, beautiful trees and this lush green grass. It's so pretty. And I even know where we're going to put the swimming pool. I mean, you are going to teach Spike to swim, right? And there's a lake. There's this beautiful, beautiful lake and a gorgeous willow tree. It's the perfect place for an ice skating rink. And remember, I said that you could teach Spike to play hockey as long as it's injury-free and civilized. So, okay, I'm gonna start counting. Zach, this house is beautiful. It's, it's perfect. Wait until you see it. I like it already. You know, remind me to carry a camera so I can take a picture of JR's face when we tell him he's been outbid. We are gonna get this place, aren't we? I could sell a kidney on the black market. Well, hopefully it won't come to that. Welcome back. An endless evening of forced small talk with people I don't care about and don't want to know. You're a fun date. What am I doing here? You're pleasing our mother. Oh, another piece of window dressing. The sun I only recently discovered. It's not bamboo shoots under your fingernails. It's close enough. Come on, please, just don't make me go stagat. Make an appearance for me. And me. Nobody told me he was going to be here. Were they supposed to? You think I want to party with the man who got away with killing Greg Madden? He tortured another human being. Welcome back to the family. Zach was acquitted. But he wasn't innocent, were you? Your fingerprint was found inside the coffin. I'll never forget that, and you shouldn't either. Getting around the law doesn't mean a damn thing. You're guilty. You are subhuman. Josh, take it easy. Okay, and, and Greg Madden suddenly a prince? Never mind that his baby switch is still ruining lives, and Emma McDermott might actually be Kate Martin. Well, it's too bad Greg's not around to sort out who's who, but you have your husband to thank for that. Josh, can we talk about this another what, time? Act like nothing happened? We're one big happy family? Yeah, it might take some effort, but yes. You know, Erica can't be on board with this. You enjoy ticking her off, or are you so delusional you think you can change him? Zach doesn't need changing. Oh, you into torture? Zach is a perfect, kind, and loving man. You guys, there, there's press here. These crimes don't matter to you? Or he's just so good and bad, you don't give a damn? Hey, Joshua. That's it. Back off. Your mom doesn't need bloodshed at her party. 
Unless the cameras are rolling. Okay, Zach is not leaving. If you can't handle it, then go. Leave my brand new family unprotected with a killer? Here, let, why don't we uh, check out who's in the other no, room? No, you came when you think you're so strong. You're suckers. Do you want me to throw them out? No, no, Bianca and I have a cover. Or maybe you can't admit when you're wrong. Your sister takes him back. God knows who or what this Maggie's doing, but if she walked in the door right now, you'd be on your knees thanking her. Well, you and Maggie are having problems? Th that's not the point. You know, everyone thinks I'm third. That's a popular theory, yes. Hell a lot better than these suckers you keep around. We keep around or Babe keeps around? This is about, this is about JR and Babe. You have the nerve to sit here and criticize my taste in men when your taste in women sucks. Don't you drag Babe in You are so transparent. Babe prefers JR, and you can't stand it. It's you. It's Bianca. You, you think your choice isn't self-destructive? You guys, can we, can we just stop? Okay, Zach clearly isn't JR, so why don't you just let it go? Right, JR is only a wannabe killer, but close enough. Okay, you remember, you poisoned our mother. She could have died. Now, what is the difference between those crimes? How about Greg Madden was a madman? Oh, so he deserved it. And, he no was right to kill him. Hurting another human being is never all right. No, sometimes it's necessary. Zach is a good and strong and loving man. Now, if you want to badmouth him, fine, but don't do it around me. I will not put up with it. You said if you had to choose between me and Babe, you'd choose Babe. Well, if I had to choose between you and Zach, I'm sorry, brother. It's Zach all the way. Cane women can't hold on to your partners because your choices are idiotic. Would you keep it down, oh, Josh? Oh, oh, oh. Or at least take it outside. Yeah, huh? bring it. Who wants to be first? Mm -hmm. What's going on here? I came for a party. Yeah, to celebrate getting away with murder. Can we put that behind us for tonight? Uh, yeah, can we? Well, Josh can't, obviously, not for one night. Just take it easy, he all right? He tortured and killed a man. Kendall is not defending that. Don't talk for me. Our brother could use a lesson in, in, in family and loyalty. And a lesson learning how to shut up. Okay, that's it. Right, You're okay. first. No, no, just, no, no, just, no, just, no, just agree to separate. Yeah, no, please, if you can't behave, just go home. You got that? You want to settle it? Let's settle it. Not now. You can't settle it. What happened, happened. But why does no one care that Zach was acquitted? I buy you a drink? I owe you one for restraining yourself. I wanted to pound him through the floor. But you didn't. No. Now what you said to Josh, the man you think I am, did you mean that? Don't you believe me when I tell you that I love you and think you're wonderful? And that you're the perfect stepfather for Spike? Because I do. That's good to hear. I mean, I defended you on reflex, but I meant every word I said. And how can I expect Josh to get past it if I can? So the past is the past. Yes, and the future is whatever we want it to be starting now. Starting with our new home. I knew the second I walked in there, there was no way I was gonna let Babe and JR get that house. I knew it was ours. It was like the second I walked in, I knew exactly where we were gonna put the Christmas tree. And I imagined you and Spike decorating it with the tinsel and you lifting him up like the manly man you are and helping him put the angel on top, making s'mores by the fireplace. And then I pictured it. Pictured you guys in the pond, swimming. You were teaching him to swim. And then, of course, when it got colder and it froze over, you were teaching him to play hockey. I don't know, it was as if we've already had a history there. And continuing it was the right and natural thing to do. I don't know, I felt like suddenly all of my dreams were right in front of me. We can still live them. Mm. Let's ditch this party. Let's go home right now and, and see our new place. <laughs> see? Look! Look at this! Look at the dock, it's amazing! You and Spike, you, get, you guys will fish there. Of course, you, you'll, you'll teach him to dive. This is perfect. This whole entire place is so amazingly us. Every room in the house, every inch of the grounds. See, now you know why I had to have it. We can't live here, Kendall. 
I love this house. Zach, come on, just give it a chance. We've been living in, in hotel rooms and condos way too long. It's not gonna work. Okay, so it didn't scream by me right away. Do, go upstairs, look Look at the, the, the there's a cool media Kendall. room, there's a beautiful Kendall. bedroom. I said we couldn't live here. What I meant was that I, I can't live here. I, I, I can't be here. I, I gotta go. Wait, Zach, Zach, wait, Zach! Okay, let's get a drink. Zach, it's a little loud in here. There's so many people. Why don't we go somewhere quiet? Then maybe you can tell me why you flipped out back there. I didn't flip out. I lost a little bit, and I, I, I think uh, quiet is the last thing I need right now. It put me over the top. I know the house was screaming by me to you. Well, it was screaming get out to me. So I wanted to come here with some people, some music, drinks, anything. Zach, have you been at this house before? I don't... Why are we even talking about this here? I'll tell you what. Why don't we grab our drinks, we'll mix it with some privacy, and I'll, I'll try to explain it to you, okay? Okay, deal. Right. Let's go. That place you took me to tonight wasn't just a house. Could be a home, Zach. No, it couldn't be a home. It, uh... It was a spitting image of the house that I grew up in. Everything about it, the entranceway and the, the paint and the balcony was just like the balcony I would sit in and wait for my dad to come home. And I dreaded it. Of course, okay, well no wonder you hated it. Of course you hated it. I, I'm sorry, I, I thought maybe you had a little commitment phobia. No, 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 you, uh, you and Spike, you're my future. Just not in that house. No. My dad took everything away from me. Everything, everyone I ever loved, he would take away from me. And now, whenever I, I feel like I'm losing something that I care about, I'd see his face. I had no idea. Yeah. So if you want a house, any house you want, just not that one, okay? I'll build you one if you like, just not one with memories. Okay. As long as we can create new memories of our own. Let me see. I'm not finished yet. Come on. I'm drawing a present for my wife, okay? A present? All right, well, I do like presents. I know you do. Okay. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Are you kidding me? This is gorgeous. What? <laughs> this is what I thought, like, this would be the, the main living area in here, uh -huh. right? And then you said you want an office for what I don't know, but I would put it up here. Okay. And Thank then, you. excuse me, one second. <laughs> kitchen. Uh -huh. That's where the cook would live, right? And then um, the bay window. That's in a lot of light for a nursery. Oh, right but here. well, Spike will be way past a nursery when this is done. Yeah, I know. That's Spike's room over here. You mean for our baby? Just a thought. It's a beautiful thought. Is that something that you would really want? It terrifies me, you know, in a, in a odd way, compelling way, long, long-term kind of way. But, but yeah, if we're ready, that I would, I would like that. I think, in time, I think we will be. To a future. To our family.